Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, my dear friends. God bless you. God be with you today. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you so very much for your prayers. Now, uh, today is actually Saturday the 6th. You know, I'm always ahead of you a little bit. I'm hoping to get this uploaded for uh, tomorrow, I think, uh, for Sunday the 7th. I'm... Uh, I think this is an important word and you know how I stay ahead of you and that way I can place them according to how the Holy Spirit leads me. So hopefully we'll get this up today uh, for tomorrow. But, you know, sometimes uploading is difficult on this uh, crowded YouTube. Amen. So I wanted to let you know I have quite a list. Maybe we'll go two days of prayer. We'll see how I I usually do the cutoff on Sunday. So we'll see how this goes uh, if I get a lot of prayer requests. Amen. So also remember, I wanted to thank you for your offerings. You can go in on the channel in the comments section up by the three dots. You click that and you'll see the heart with the dollar sign. This super thanks. Thank you very, very much. You know, somebody apologized for making a small donation. Honestly, folks, every little donation adds up. Amen. Um, I put a lot of hours on the channel, but it's so rewarding. And writing to you folks and sending out tea bags and coffee, God is so good. I'm enjoying the mail ministry so very much. We're getting acquainted and writing back and forth. Um, we have a chaplain, uh, a fellow vet, uh, uh, vet training to be a chaplain. I've gotten acquainted with so many of you. Amen. I'm praying for your families. Amen. I know that there's some strife in some of the families. We're praying for those families. Uh, also, Bob, our Vietnam vet, is home with hospice. So please pray for Bob. He's having some hard days. And we're just praying God's uh, blood be upon uh, Bob and his whole family. Amen. And that his wife can get that rest that she needs. Remember PJ in your prayer. She's taking care of her folks in uh, in their 90s. And PJ's not well. So please remember PJ and Bob. Uh, we have a baby, Cody, K-O-D-I. I've got him on the little, just a newborn, and I have him on the uh, prayer list for tomorrow. But remember Cody today and pray. He needs a medical exam, and it's $549, so we're praying that God would provide. Amen? So uh, those are the immediate prayer requests, and then we'll hit everybody again on Monday perhaps Tuesday. So today's word, again, a uh, very important word, and I do want to try to get it uploaded sooner than later. I've entitled it the once great, uh, uh, the once, the once great always fall. Okay. The once great always fall. That's the name of the message today. Jeremiah 51, I'll read one through nine. This is pretty self-explanatory. We <clears throat> we need to pray, folks. Amen. We just, uh, we can only pray at this point, right? We can only pray for our nation. We can only pray for each other. Hold everybody up on this channel. You know, people are struggling uh, in their workplaces and their finances. I feel that the churches are going to really begin to struggle. Uh, and we will be facing some real persecution. It's only the tip of the iceberg, church. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's biblical. Uh, the enemy is rising. We know that we are in the last of the last days. The convergence is happening. With that will come the uh, persecution. What we're seeing in the Mideast and that persecution worldwide is coming to the church. Amen. So be prepared. Buckle up. You know, I said April is going to be a very hard and bumpy month. Uh, it's just beginning. Uh, we know that things are going to increase in the Mideast. Amen. Um, things are happening quickly. So uh, I guess remember the old saying, expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. But that goes according to God's to God also expect those miracles. God's going to move in our midst. Amen. God is on the throne. God is orchestrating everything. And God is for us, not against us, for us. Amen. So expect the unexpected good and God. Amen. So Isaiah 51, 
Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am going to arouse against Babylon and against the uh, inhabitants of, and this word, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it here in my Bible, it's Chaldean, the same same name is Chaldean. The spirit uh, of a destroyer, I shall dispatch foreigners to Babylon that they may willow in her. And there and I was thinking about uh, our borders, amen. The spirit of a destroyer, and I shall dispatch foreigners to Babylon that they may uh, winnow in her <clears throat> and may devastate her land, for on every side they will be opposed to her in the day of her calamity. Verse 3, let not him who, <clears throat> excuse me, let not him who bends his bow Pardon me, let not him who bends his bow bend it, nor let him rise up uh, in his uh, scale armor. So do not spare her young men, devote all her army to destruction, and they will fall down slain in the land of the Chaldeans and pierce through their streets. For neither Israel nor Judah has uh, been forsaken. And that's important for us to remember. God is not going to forsake uh, his people. Amen. His chosen people, not that they're perfect. Amen. Not that they're perfect. Uh, and they're not where he would have them to be. Amen. <coughs> but he will not forsake them. Verse five, for neither Israel nor Judah has been forsaken for his God, the Lord of hosts. Excuse me, folks. I'm so sorry. <coughs> Although their land is full of guilt before the Holy One of Israel, flee from the midst of Babylon and each of you save his life. Do not be destroyed in her punishment, for this is the Lord's time of vengeance. Time, we're in a time of judgment, church. He is going to render reckons to her. Babylon has been a golden cup in the hand of the Lord, intoxicating all the earth. The nations have drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are going mad. Oh, this is powerful. I'm going to read that one again. Babylon has been a golden cup in the hand of the Lord, intoxicating all the earth. The nations have drunk, uh, drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are going bad, mad. Suddenly, Babylon has fallen and been broken. Wail over her. Bring balm for her pain. Perhaps she may be healed. Uh, we ap applied healing to Babylon, but she was not healed. Forsake her. <coughs> Forgive me, folks. <clears throat> Forsake her and let each go to his own country. For her judgment has reached to heavens and the towers to the very skies. Okay. And um, I would say to you, there's been so many arguments and differences in what where Babylon is. You know, there's this, there's the real Babylon, and some say it's in, you know, the ten kingdoms, the kingdoms at the end. And then others say America is Babylon. And I'm saying America is a type of Babylon. And I'm not saying where the real Babylon of the Bible is in the end times, but I believe that America is a spiritual Babylon. Amen. And that's how that word is applied here. So where the physical Babylon is in the last days, there's so many differences. Amen. Definitely America is a spiritual Babylon. Amen. Okay. The once great always fall. The once great always fall. The once great always fall. Men building upon the backs of other men. Words, words, and more words. Woe to the once strong. Woe to them. Now now my chosen, my people, eyes wide open, spirits of fire, glory to the Lamb. They hear their words. They see the evil and destruction. My people know the truth from the lies. Glory to God. There is no doubt that you folks on this channel I don't know exactly what's going on. I read your comments day after day. We are, the remnant is in agreement. We know what's happening, don't we? We know what's going on, church. They hear their words. They see their evil destruction. My people know the truth from the lies. Glory to God. There are no more secrets, nothing hidden. My spirit reveals all truth. Glory to God. All truth written for all of time. Glory to God. All truth reveal. Glory to God. It is opening up before our very eyes. Amen. Our spirits are on fire. We yet, we want to go home. Don't we come, Lord Jesus? Come. And yet to be chosen of 
all generations to be living in this day, church. Get a hold of that. Amen. All truth reveal glory to God. My people understand the end is near glory to God. Do not fear my people. The once great always fall. Even my smallest now know and understand my precious anointed one filled with all of me. Glory to God. My lambs do not fear what is ahead. You are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. Glory to God. Place now in this time for a divine purpose spread the word speak boldly my lambs you understand now time is passing quickly before your very eyes you see with my eyes you understand with my mind and spirit you are my people chosen now my children stand up for righteousness sound the alarm to all whom would listen Put away all of this world that you still cling to. Put away all of this world that you still cling to. In me, you can do all things in me and through me. This is your time now, church. This is your day as you cling to me. Believe these words, my children. Only be willing now. Only be willing now. He asks that we only be willing. He's so precious and sweet to us. Only be willing now. Be available now is the time to throw away the things of this world, the things that draw your focus from being filled with all of me. I'm going to read that's a word of knowledge for some. The things that draw you from your focus from being filled with all of me. I am calling you out from Babylon now, my people. I am calling you now. Come, come close, come Come close to me. Cling to me. Uh, as you move closer to me, the things uh, of this world will fall away. <clears throat> Hear me now, children. As you move closer to me, these things will begin to fall away. Once there was a great and safe nation that many would cling to, a place of safety for many. Now my lambs is written. All of this has come to evil rising. The once great now falling there is nothing for men and nations to hold on to and that's the world that's what they're experiencing that's what they're seeing there is nothing for men and nations to hold on to now is your time my people now is your day do not waste time my chosen pray my people pray now is the time pray for the lost their only hope is your voice touching heaven. Draw them by your love, yet warn them of a hopeless and dark future, a future not of life but death. They would say in the past, days this nation will protect me. All this wealth surrounds our borders and will keep us safe from all evil. You understand what this is speaking of. Oh, woe to them, woe to them. They cannot understand, they cannot see. Yet my people, my anointed, still roaming the valleys of the nations. Glory to God in the highest. So hear me, my people. I love you with my whole heart. I set you apart, rescued you from death from with my life-saving blood. Glory to God. Now is the time. Let go of what holds you from me. There is little time now. Might work ahead, yet some, some still uh, distracted away from me. Even now, now is your time. Now is your time. I will do a work in you. You will experience new depth and new fire, yet you must let go. You must let go. Glory to God. So speaking of the nation crumbling, and yet some still holding on to the things of this world that are distracting them from what we must be focused on, what we must pray about, how we must speak to those that will listen. Amen. And you are able because I love with I live within you, glory to God. You see, you understand. Now the once great is falling. Many will die. Many are still turning away in hardness, yet many will come. Many be, are beginning to see glory to God. You are beginning to see and beginning to understand because you are my chosen. You understand even now these words as this is my spirit. You know what you must do. You are drawing now even closer, understanding these words, the actions, and I require glory to God. I love you so. I know I knew you in the womb. This is your day. This is your time. Move now in my anointing. You can see and understand the once great is now falling. I have called you set apart. I have need of you, glory to God. It, 
glory to God in the highest. And I would say to you, if this word of knowledge within this word is for you, we will pray for you. I will put your name down. We will pray for you. It's time. And he's showing me. I say this and I know this to be true because he's showing me this in my own life since Christmas. I've, I've just had to let go. I didn't know these things were there and yet they were there and I was letting go and drawing closer to him. I feel a new anointing. I feel it. I know it's happening and it's not me it's not me so it's going to get easier for you to let go of these things of the world as you draw closer to him you know why because time is short church time is short and he knows it and he's going to take care of you he wants you to move forward and to let go of what's keeping you away and distracted from him and it will get easier because time is short Time is short, and he needs all of us to be his voice, right? We're going to pass him by every day. You know you work with him. I see him in my apartment say, man, perhaps the lady below can hear this uh, voice. She, I believe she knows I have a channel. Maybe she knows I'm speaking today, and this is working in her spirit. Amen. God uses everything, even the rumbling between the floors he can use. Amen. And praise God. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Second reading, the once great always fall. The once great always fall. Men building upon the backs of other men. Words, words, and more words. Woe to the, to the once strong. Woe to them. Now, my children, my people, eyes wide open, spirits of fire, glory to God. Uh, they hear their words. They see the evil and destruction. My people know the truth from the lies. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. There is no more secrets, nothing hidden. My spirit reveals all truth. Glory to God. All truth written for all of time. Glory to God. All truth revealed. Glory to God. My people understand the end is near. Glory to God. Do not fear my people, the once great always fall. Even my smallest now see and understand all my precious anointed ones filled with all of me. Glory to God, my lamb. Do not fear what is ahead. You are a chosen generation. Glory to God. Place now. In this time for a divine purpose, place now in this time for a divine purpose, spread the word, speak boldly, my lambs, you understand now time is passing quickly before your very eyes, you see with my eyes and you understand with my mind and spirit, you are my people chosen, sound the alarm to all who would listen. Put away all of this world that you still cling to. In me, you can do all things in me and through me. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm feeling his presence. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. This is your time now, church. This is your day as you cling to me. Believe these words, my children. Only be willing now. Only be willing, church. Be available. Now is the time to throw away the things of this world, the things that draw your focus from being filled with all of me. I am calling you out from Babylon now, my people. I am calling you now. Come close. Come next to me. Cling to me. As you move, move closer to me, the things of this uh, world will fall away. That's so important. I'm feeling his presence when I speak that. As you draw closer to me, the things of this world will fall away. He's encouraging you. Let go. You're going to see more movement in that area. It's going to be easier to let go and give it all to God and move forward and separate yourself and be that vessel of uh, that useful vessel that he needs you to be in these last days. Praise God. Hear me now, children, as you move closer to me, these things will begin to fall away. There it is again. These things will begin to fall away. Once there was a great and safe nation that many would cling to, a place of safety for many. Now, my lambs, it is written, all has come to evil rising, the once great now falling. There is nothing for men and nations to hold on to. Now is your time, my people. Now is your day. Do not waste time, my chosen. Pray, my people, pray. Now is the time. Now pray for the lost. Their only hope is your voice touching heaven. Draw them by your love, yet warn them of the hopeless and dark future, a future not of life but of death. Praise God, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, 
<clears throat> they would say in past days that nations will protect me. All of this wealth surrounds our borders. Keep us safe from all evil. Oh, woe to them, woe to them. They cannot understand. They cannot see. Yet my people, my anointed, still roaming the valleys of the nations. Glory to God in the highest. So hear me, my people. I love you with my whole heart. I set you apart, rescue you from death with my life-saving blood. Glory to God. Now is the time to let go. What holds you? There is little time. Mighty works ahead, yet still some uh, distracted away from me even now now is your time now is your time I will do a work in you and you will experience new death and new fire yet you must let go you must let go glory to God you are able because I live within you you are able because I live within you glory to God you see and you understand now the once great is falling Many will now die. Many will still turn away in hardness. Yet, there's that all important word, yet. Many will come and many are beginning to see glory to God. You are beginning to see and beginning to understand because you are my chosen. You understand now these words as this is my spirit. You know what you must do. You are drawing even closer in understanding these words, the actions I require. Glory to God. I love you so. I knew you in the womb. This is your day. This is your time. Move now on my anointing. You can see and understand the once great is now falling. I have called you, set you apart. I have need of you. Glory to God in the highest almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people, Lord God. As you call us, Lord God, you call us unto you, Lord God, as your useful ones, your chosen ones, Lord God. Let us rid ourselves of all that keep us from you, Lord God. We pray this day your perfect will be in our life on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Send me your names. We'll be glad to pray for you. I love you. Thank you. God bless you. Be safe. His blood be upon you today. His light shine. Light your way ahead today. God bless. God love you.